Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. I thought I'd take you through a question I get asked quite a bit, which is how do you trap a variable or transfer a variable between one VBA procedure and another? How do you do it? So we'll go through the process. I've got this data in column A, and what we'll do is we'll set up a variable that actually looks at that column and then push the data to column B in the second procedure. All right, it's something I don't do very often, but occasionally I have to call on this knowledge. Okay, I like to keep everything in a single procedure, but I can't always do that. So Alt F11 to go into the back end, and then we'll insert a module. And we'll call this sub procedure, sub copy call. Nice one. All right, so the first thing I've got to do is declare my variable. So I will dim call as an integer. And then I'll say that the col is going to equal to column one. Yeah, so col equals one. Now, what I'll do is I'll hook straight into my second procedure. So I'll um, make a call on that procedure. And I have to decide what that's going to be. And I'll just say user var, that's what I'm going to call it, I'm explaining this variable procedure. And then in brackets, what I have to do is I have to put the name of the variable that I'm using in the second procedure. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to mistype this. So I'll copy it and I'll say sub user var. And then in brackets, what I have to do is declare that variable's type. So I say by val and then uh, the name of the variable, col, as, and it is an integer. So they need to be the same between each uh, procedure. You, you can't have a string up there and an integer down here. It just does not work like that. Yeah. Now, once that I've got this information, what I'll do is I'll take column A uh, and I'll copy it and I'll move that data to column B. Yeah. So I'll copy from A to B. So I'll say column, columns, and then col, and then dot copy. So that's easy. That gets it copied. Now the, the syntax for copy is what do you want to copy? And then space, where do you want to put it? And I want to put that data in column B. But in relative to column A, I'll just say uh, I want to put it in columns col and then dot offset and it's just comma one column yeah so rows comma column and that's that's effectively where I want to put the information yeah so I click to the next line and we'll see how we go all right so basically let's minimize this I'll just take you down and then just minimize so we can see what's going on in the procedure and we'll kick this thing off with, by pressing F8, and F8, and then F8. So if you use a very, you can see the column inside the, if I, if I didn't have that up, I'd say insert a view locals. And you can see that calls is one, and then copy the columns. This all should happen in all one fell swoop. Bang, there it is. So it goes back to the first procedure, and then goes out again. Now, looking at the code, we can sort of streamline it a little bit from what it actually is. We could say, because this is just a constant in here, hard-coded, we could lose all of this and just go const col equals 1. And I might just offset 2 this time, yeah? And then we'll run it again. So we'll say, did that work? So we'll press F8, 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 and here's where the rubber hits the road. Does it come into column C? Yes, it does. So that, in a very simplistic form, is how you move variables between one macro and another macro. All right, hope that's helped. Take it easy, everyone.